First thing you need to do is make a title and a thumbnail that's completely misleading into making you think that all these beauty hacks are worth your time. Then after that you need to bump up the brightness, saturation and contrast until it burns your corneas. Whoopsies, because at the end of the day a colourless video is a boring video, an unwatchable video, a dull video. Have you ever had those days where your skin just doesn't look okay, pimples, pores, we don't want them, but you don't have enough money for all of those fancy face masks? Well that's okay because with this trick your skin's going to be glowing, you just need PVA glue and glitter. Mix them all up in a cup and lather it generously on your face. Wait a whopping 20 minutes for it to dry and don't worry about that weird tingling in your eyes, it's just the fumes from the glue. Once it's dry to the touch you're ready to peel it off revealing your new healthy glowing skin to the world. This bad boy peels off with absolute ease, it just feels like a dream. And wash off any excess revealing the results of your beautiful DIY mask. Don't worry about the redness though, that's just a minor chemical burn but like you know what we all have those days, am I right? Oh my gosh, who is she? Do you have ugly nails because you're a nail biter? Ew, gross. Don't worry, me too. With this handy trick you're going to be able to show off a new set of claws. Just grab yourself an empty milk bottle and a permanent marker. Then start to sketch out your new manicure. Once you're happy with the shape you're allowed to start cutting those bad boys out. Once your nails are released from the bottle start painting them with your choice of colour. Ooh, shiny shiny. Then just get some super glue so that you can attach your new claws on. Ooh, gotta hold those down tight. And just like that, you are done. Woo! Whose fabulous nails are those? No one's gonna even know that these nails weren't done by a professional. They're gonna be asking you who did them, and you'll just tell them, ah, oh, it was the dairy farmers. Lady Deathstrike, what? Have you ever had those days where no matter what you do, your eyeliner just doesn't match up, and then you just end up going, don't worry, we've all been there. But with this handy tip, your eyeliner is always going to look runway ready. Just take your eyeliner and just carry it through to the rest of your face, making cute little swirls in the meantime. Remember, go crazy with it. Have fun. The bigger, the better. Less is more? No, no. More is more. Ooh la la, Mr. Squiggle who? Once you're happy with the shape, just start filling in each section with different colours to make a beautiful runway masterpiece. Don't be shy, put some more. <laughs> Don't be shy, put some more. Wow, we, I think we have another Picasso on our hands. It's just gonna be a mere month until Vogue starts putting this down on the runway. You're just ahead of the trend. So go out into the world and show them how amazing you are and how they should be following in your footsteps. Do you ever have those days where you look at your brows and think, why are they so boring? Don't worry, you're not the only one. Really? Yes, really, and with this handy trick, every day is going to be an amazing brow day. Watch out. Just grab yourself some pipe cleaners and a pair of scissors. Fold it in half and cut it down the middle and start shaping them to your heart's content. Woo, bendy. You can have such an array of brows. Sad brows. Oh, a tear. Angry brows. Grrr. An artsy mono brow after you spent hours plucking it to oblivion. Or a set of brows that says, ooh. Really? Wow, that's amazing. If you want to add a touch of mystery to your life, you can bend them throughout the day, keeping everyone on their toes. Wow, versatile queen. So now you can have brows for any mood of the week. Looking fabulous, looking stunning. Once again, Gucci, what are you doing? Come on, call her. Have you ever had those days where you're walking down the street, life's in bliss, and then you see someone you recognize, but you're not wearing a full face of makeup? Oh no, what are you gonna do? <gasps> Reach for the bag? No, but with this handy hint, you'll never have another brown bag day again. All you're gonna need is a pair of pantyhose and some whiteboard markers. Stretch the pantyhose out on a flat surface and then get drawing. Draw out a pair of lips, a set of eyes, some eyeliner, go crazy, add whatever you want, a pinch of blush, maybe even some highlighter, the world is your oyster. Once you're happy with your drawn on makeup, just pull the pantyhose over your head and make sure you put them in the right place, the eyes go where the eyes are. Oh my gosh, who is she? Met Gala, you don't even know what's coming for you this year. Emergency makeup whenever you need it. All you need to do is keep her in your handbag from now on she's your best friend do you ever just look at your eyelashes and think wow they just aren't bambilicious <laughs> well don't worry you aren't the only one and with this trusty dusty hint your eyelashes are going to be lifted for the heavens just get yourself some double-sided black paper and a pair of scissors to cut her out just cut her out into thin strips and then curl her around your finger so that you've got a nice perfect lift to it then once you're happy with the amount you have and how they turned out, just grab a teeny bit of lash glue and wait for it to dry. Once they're all dry, you can just pop them on with ease. 
Oh my gosh, stunning. People aren't even gonna realize that these are just a teeny bit of paper. It's like you have some butterflies on your eyes. You look stunning. So just go out into the world and show them how amazing you are and your new set of lashes. Do you ever think to yourself, you're just bored with all the eyeshadows you have? Don't worry, we've all been there. But it's okay because with this handy hint, I'll show you how to make your own custom eyeshadows. Just get a bowl, some baby powder, some food coloring, and some sprinkles just for a teeny bit of sparkle sparkle. Then mix all of your ingredients together in a bowl. Ooh, stunning. Then off camera so you can completely mislead your audience, just use a normal eyeshadow palette because we're not gonna be silly enough to use any baby powder on our eyelids. But don't worry, we're gonna film and edit it so that people did think that we used our baby bum powder concoction. Wow, stunning. Morphe wishes she could. No one's gonna even know that it's just some baby powder food coloring and sprinkles. Do you have a whole wardrobe full of shoes but still have nothing to wear? Yeah, that's okay, everyone has those days, but with this handy hint, we're gonna show you how to customize a brand new pair of shoes. Just get some old shoes and some contact paper, and it's as simple as cutting it out, sticking it to your legs, and having fun. Oh my gosh, people are gonna be asking you, where did you get those shoes? And you can tell them, oh, I just made them, you know, just whipped it up. They'll never know that it's just as simple as an old pair of shoes and some contact paper. That's wild. Pretty little thing, watch out. For you, is every day a bad hair day? Yeah. Well, don't worry. With this handy hint, we'll show you how to make every day a good hair day. Just get some cling wrap and some tape. Just cover the top of your head with the cling wrap. Wow, stunning. Then just get some tape and use nature's scissors to strengthen the cling wrap and the mold that you're making. Then just get your favorite colors of wool and cut them into strips. Then just hot glue those strips to the cast of your head. And don't stop until you reach the top. Wow, new hair. Who this? Brad Mondo wishes he could. Vogue, watch out. You have a new model in your hands and she is looking fiery and fierce. Sexy beauty slow-mos, what? Warning, please do not attempt any of the DIYs featured in this video as they are for entertainment, parody, and satire purposes only. Some of the DIYs in this video could be harmful, but like when I say harmful, I just mean that at one point, like I, or at one point, like let's be honest, a few points, I burnt myself with a hot glue gun, which like, oh my gosh, at one point, like I got some hot glue between my pinky finger and my ring finger and it hurt so much. I think there was actually an emotion that I had and like, I really have an emotion. Oh, and then on top of that, like <laughs> when it came to the glue, like face mask video, oh my gosh, it was such a time because like after I peeled it off, I thought to myself, I should put some red eyeshadow on my face so it looks a little bit more burnt, but then like, as I tried to wash it off, oh my gosh, it didn't come off and then I realized, oh, I actually burnt myself for real, but at the same time, it just took like a tell fast, which is a kind of antihistamine, but it's the only one that we had in the house, but that way, like, I took down the inflammation because I think I might have been allergic, but I've done it before and I didn't have this, but either way, I digress. Furthermore, all the DIYs featured in this video are complete and not a waste of your time. But once again, thank you for joining us on the channel, Raffenstein. We hope that you have enjoyed your day and we can't wait to see your smiling face next time. Don't forget when you leave to grab your complimentary cookie and don't forget to stay hydrated with one of our fresh bottles of water. Ooh, ice cold. See you next time, beautiful. Bye.